Hi, this is Greg Bullmash with Seattle Coder Dojo. This is video number two in our 2D game art workshop. In this video, we're going to make our first dog treat by using the circles and rectangles we learned about in the first video. Basically, I'm going to show you how I can turn one circle and one rectangle into a dog bone. Remember, before we get started, I might go through this a little fast for you. That's the great thing about videos, though. You can always rewind. So let's close the screen with the logo and make sure we zoom in on our page, enlarging the drawing area. Remember, we can use the plus and minus keys or the zoom commands from the view menu. We'll start by drawing our rectangle and our circle first. We select the square, put the mouse where we want to start it, then hold down the mouse button while we move it to make the rectangle. When we let go, the rectangle is set. But let's remember the selector tool and those arrows for changing the size. You don't have to lay it down perfectly. There are actually lots of ways to get it just right after it's made. When it's selected, we can click on those arrows around the edges and while holding the mouse down, pull them to resize our rectangle. Now let's choose the circle tool, hold down the mouse, draw, let go. Now we'll go back to the selector tool for the rest of this exercise. Because making the circle was the last thing you did, it will be selected when you choose the selector tool. To unselect it, just click on a blank part of the page, press the escape key, or you can choose the deselect command in the edit menu. Let's select it again by clicking on it. Now we're going to duplicate the circuit, the circle, and that's going to create a perfect copy of it right on top of it. You could use the copy and paste functions for this, but I found that works sort of wonky on Mac. Plus, it puts the pasted copy in far from the original. So we'll select Duplicate from the Edit menu or use Control D, but it's not going to seem like it did anything. Trust me, it's there. Remember that to select and move shapes, we need to go back to our selector tool. We'll then use our arrow key to nudge the selected circle. In the previous video, I showed how we could click on a shape and holding the mouse button down, drag it around the screen. I'll do that now and we'll control Z to undo that movement. Well, dragging things around can be a little hard to get right. With nudging, you can get very precise control by pressing the arrow keys to move the shape just a teeny tiny bit. Plus, you only go in the direction of the key you're pressing, so you don't accidentally drag it to the side. Of course, if you want to move it a bit, you can just hold down the arrow key in that direction like this. So now we have the two circles looking like the lobes of a bone. But we have that overlap line. We want it to be one shape. Using the union command from the path menu, we can create a union between the two shapes and make them into one. We've already got one circle selected. We can select the second circle with the first by holding down the shift key while we click it. The shift key adds it to the selection instead of changing the selection from one circle to the other. With both selected, we go to the path menu, select union. Voila, they're one shape. Now let's duplicate that shape. Since we have to move it over a bit, it would take forever to nudge it. We'll just drag it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that we have those in place, let's move the rectangle. Notice it's under both shapes. That's because as we create objects, they get sort of stacked on top of each other. We can move things around in the stack, up a level, down a level, to the bottom, to the top, but we'll get to that in the next video. You'll soon see it's not a big deal here. Once we have our rectangle about where we want it, the ends of the bones about where we want them, it's time to connect them. We'll use the union function to make these three shapes into one bone. Now the union function only combines two shapes at a time, so we'll click outside of our group to remove the selection. Then we'll click, shift click, union. Then because the shape is already selected, shift click the last piece and union. There we have a dog bone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. We have more to come. Thanks for watching, and I hope we'll see you at Seattle Coder Dojo.